What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another one. We're out here chasing muskies right now. We just got all set up. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning. The sun has rose. We have beautiful clear bluebird skies. We've had some tough conditions. Warm and cold and warm. Fishing has been very hit or miss. But we're hoping today we can get on some muskies. I've got two clients with me, returning clients, Jay and Brant. And uh, they've both got muskies with me before on the boat. But we're hoping we can get their first muskie on the hard water today. We're in one of my favorite spots. And we got dead bait hanging all around the bait. Zone 8 Quebec. We have tip-ups out. We're allowed 10 lines per license. I think we have 20 set lines out. And then we'll be jigging in the tent with the live scope, with big tantrums, on slugger rods. And seeing if we can make something happen. Let's get in the Otter Monster Lodge. See if we can get a muskie topside today. Let's go. So that one's super shallow. So once we get like to the flag before it, we're gonna go really like slow. Try not to walk as hard. Okay. Come like right here. Yeah, see it's gone like that way. Definitely a fish. He's came back at us. It's loose right now. <clears throat> I think he dropped it. I think I'm pulling weeds. <clears throat> dropped it. it. Took a ton of wine too. Chewed up the belly. Tore it up. Surprised he dropped it. Damn. Might have been a pike. Seeing that he dropped it, especially after taking that much line. Alright guys, so we are back in the tent. I wanted to take a quick minute just to go over tools. So it's really important, especially on these cold days, fish safety is always number one. We get those fish as soon as we get them out of the water, put them back in the hole fully submerged, gills submerged so they can breathe. On a cold day, you even want to have those eyes underneath the water so that the eyeballs don't freeze. And then on the way to the disc, we always make sure we have everything we need. We're making sure we're bringing our cameras, we're bringing the bump board, we got the musky bumper here, along with a bubble hook puller. I bought this tool this year. It is absolutely, probably my favorite tool in the arsenal. It's got a little hook here, and once you pull on this, that hook retracts back into itself so you can grab onto a hook that's deeply hooked turn with ease and then long nose pliers extra long shank and then our nip x cutters in case we have to cut a hook and then the bump board's always closed so if it is a fish we want to bump out of the hole pictures onto the bump board head into the water holding the tail and uh 20 to 30 seconds out of the water on a mild day you can get away maybe with a little bit more but even on cold cold days that fish should just be taken out, have a video, pull them out, show down the hole, and you can take still shots off of your video. So very important to have these tools with you and uh, be prepared for when that flag does pop that you can deal with that fish really quickly. You do not want to be running back and forth to the tent to have to get tools and just puts a lot more stress on that fish that fish absolutely doesn't need. So first fish of the day, and uh, like I said earlier, we still got a little bit of time, so we're just biding our time, tick-tocking, and uh, Waiting to see what comes. I think we'll get another one. It's uh, been active fish moving around today, and they're, that big one I think is gonna pop a flag and make somebody a lucky boy. So let's see what we can do. Come like right here. Oh, he's there, he's there. He's there. Felt them. He's there. If he Move was the on board like right there. Come like right here. If he was on for a while, he could just be like chilling now. Just wait, wait. I'll tell you when. I just want to make sure he's going away with it. Okay, here, set it. No. 
Keep pulling, he's still there. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> Wait, go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow, go slow. That's the leader, he's big. Go, if he wants to pull, you let, let him pull. pull yeah. Just keep tension. Okay, go slow, the leader's right there. Go slow. He's not gonna come off here, we just gotta get a good grab because there's a free hook on the outside of his mouth. We got him. <laughs> Way to go, bud! It's gone. He's gone to what? Oh, wow. Beauty. That's a good 40 incher. We can get a bump of them. Awesome fish, man. Fatty. Yeah, I grab a picture on the 43. 43 in a bit. Nice. That's what mine was last time. Just kind of hold her. There she goes. Hey! Fucking right, boys. We waited a long time for that one, boys. Let's go! We finally got one! Like I said, we've been grinding the last couple days for flags. And today we have seen like five or six different fish on screen. They would come up to the tantrum, come up to the water wolf flat tube, check it out, leave, 10-15 minutes, swing back around. We saw one absolute giant that slurked right in there. I don't know if that's a word, but he slurked right up to the tube and took a look at it and then left. And uh, not long after that big fish, we had had a flag that took it way up in the weeds in like three feet of water, wrapped himself in some weeds, and when we started applying tension and bringing the line back, he ended up dropping it. And then not even an hour later, two flags from that flag, boom, took a bunch of line, again, went way up in the weeds, would come back at us, we brought a bunch of weed up into the hole, and he was still on, and Jay got his biggest muskie ever, and on the ice. So, double bonus. We still have about an hour and a half left to go here, so we're hoping that that big mama that we saw on the screen is going to eat, and it's going to be a 50, so we can have the first 50 of the year for 2023. But the day's not over, so we're just going to wait for more flags to pop, hopefully maybe get one here in the tent jigging, but all in all, great day, it is absolutely beautiful outside, and the fish are biting, so that is all we could ask for. Flag check, and there was nothing, so we're going to get back to it, let's go! That's a wrap boys and girls. We we're back in the truck. Just got everything all packed up. Clients had headed home around uh, 4 30. I did the whole pack down. One fish on the day. We ended up having another false flag. Like I said, I think it was a small pike or maybe a small muskie. It was a pretty big bait and I think he had just taken it, took it in the weeds and dropped it because he realized it was too big. But we did see a bunch of them on live scope today and all in all great day. But that my friends wraps up muskie until March for me and I'm headed to the magical place of Bay of Quinty for some giant gold bars, walleye, 10 pounders, 30 inchers, and we head out on Wednesday, and it is Sunday today, so it is coming fast, and I'll be there for a long time doing the walleye tour, the 2023 walleye tour, and uh, gonna have a bunch of clients, friends, fun fishing days, and hopefully gonna do some magical gold bars. So thanks for checking out this week's video, just a short little video for you guys, and uh, yeah, don't forget, go down below. I can't say it enough, the channel is growing and it's all because of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave comments, all that good stuff helps me in a big way on the channel and uh, I really appreciate all of you. So until next time, see you guys later.